Dear Jamaica, As I sit down to write this letter, from me to you, my heart is so heavy with the weight and the tears that comes with saying goodbye. It feels like I'm bidding the last farewell to somebody that I love the most. Somebody who is more dear to me than a friend, a best friend, and a mother. Somebody who welcomed me with open arms and showed me nothing but love, hospitality, and warmth. From the moment I set my foot in the soils of Jamaica, I was captivated by the beauty, the greenery, the scenery, and the clear crystal water, the vibrant culture, the loving people, the amazing food, and every corner I turned and looked at, there was a child ready to smile. It was truly a charm over and over again. But it was not just about the physical beauty for me. It was also the people, the people of Jamaica, so loving, the souls truly stole my heart from the friendly smiles of strangers, people who are willing to say hi in the streets, something I barely experienced. Dear Jamaica, my heart bleeds any time I think of finally leaving. But as they say, everything that has a beginning must have an end. This is not an end. This is a comma for me. This is just but a little break for I have to come back. I will never forget the taste of your delicious jack chicken. The sound of reggae music filling the air. The sight of the sun every morning. The fruit that I had never seen. As I prepare to leave, I want you to know that you will always hold a special place in my heart. I may be physically departing from Jamaica, but the memories we created together will forever remain in my heart. Trench Town and every person that made my stay in Jamaica memorable, I will never forget. Thank you, Jamaica, for showing me that love knows no boundaries. Thank you for showing this African girl the true definition of love forever in my heart. Thank you, Asante Sana, Jamaica, with gratitude and love from me to you, Empress Arwa.
this is where I have been calling home for the past week or so and now it's about time to finally go and tell the whole world about Trench Town and Jamaica as well as, as I'm really trying to to hold it all back in because they've been so good to me guys it has been amazing okay let's just say that let me turn the camera the other way so let me just turn the camera the other way so I can talk from this other side because it has been so amazing this day here has been beautiful I was welcomed I experienced nothing but love and now it's time to be brave again and and go back home okay yeah oh my god why am i always such a cry baby oh, i'm gonna miss everybody i'm gonna miss everything about this place the unity the togetherness of course esther i'm gonna miss you so much hi little little baby natisha me yeah, I got now. I'm yeah. One love. Yeah, I have a little baby, so and I'm still gonna come back. Yeah. Yeah, I have to yeah, I have to come back once it's fully Jamaican. A hundred percent Jamaican. One yard. One yard. Once you try Jamaica, you have to come back. You cannot help it. So guys, this has been my home. They have been the realest people, the most friendliest people. And it breaks my heart when I hear people saying different things about this place because that's not what I experienced at all. I experienced nothing but love here, okay? I'm gonna have to cut this video, so I'm gonna do a voiceover because I cannot be able to put myself together. Oh God. Ah, I can't be able to put myself together and completely do the video. <laughs> But I gotta go, so let me just cut it and right, all right. Let me just I'll do a voiceover for you guys because <laughs> Bernard. Empress Arwa is leaving. Empress Arwa is leaving. When will we see you again? Soon. soon. Yeah, very soon. soon. Can be like tomorrow. No, maybe. not tomorrow, of course. Like maybe in a month's time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I want to organize a few things. I'm going to figure You know, I have a little baby. So I wanted to see if I can travel and how Jamaica is. Then I come with my baby. Because normally I don't like to go somewhere new with the baby. Yeah, but now you're fine you can take her with you. Yeah, now I've realized it's a, it's a good place. It's a safe place. Well, you're doing like a motor car, you're going to have Too much people love you. I don't want to take the baby. <laughs> Too much people love me? Mm, they don't want to take the baby. <laughs> oh my God, I received so much love here. Yeah, everybody has love for you. Hey, the love that you people showed me. Ah, I can never forget. <laughs> I can never forget. I feel so bad that I'm leaving. Oh God. But anyway, such is life, huh? I know, right? Bernard. <laughs> My favorite pub with the, with the Why does he have this one? Sponge? That is it. That is it. Best time. My favorite uh, cup with them, um, Bernard. <laughs> 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 
Esther. I'm here, I'm here, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Then uh, Kino will come pick us up from here. And then we'll head to the airport. Yeah, right. It's a lovely space. It's so beautiful. Go, Jamaica has right. everything that we can imagine. You go Talk left or you go right. Talk of five-star hotels. Hey. Yeah, let's see you go in. Yeah, we don't know if you want to go to reverse them. And then reverse them. Or we get out here. We're going to reverse them to the bag. Yeah. 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 yeah, and that way is it way out. So I got it. Wait, wait. <laughs> so I'll put it's them up for you. So don't be like Mikey. You remember what happened? Hey, sorry for another day. <laughs> this is the reception area. Yeah, this is. Okay. Okay, so if it's an hour. This is where it all began. When I first came, I spent a night in this hotel. I remember it like it was yesterday. And now, this is where it ends. I had to pass by here and at least grab something because I had not eaten since morning. We were so busy from the previous day and everybody was sleeping. So when we all woke up, we decided to pass by this amazing hotel and grab a little something just to eat before going at the airport. Filming this video was one of the hardest thing I had to do. I enjoyed filming every video in Jamaica apart from this. Because with this, my eyes were constantly filled with tears. My voice was constantly shaking. I couldn't keep a straight face. Most of the time, I would prefer to turn the camera and let it face the other side because I didn't have the strength and the courage to accept that my time here was done. But like I said, I consider this a coma, not a full stop. This is just but the beginning. This is the first to many. Because a door that has been opened by God, nobody can close. I came to Jamaica for vibes, for fun, for content. But I'm leaving Jamaica with so much love. I'm leaving Jamaica with more than vibe, more than content. I have a family. I have loyal family members. I don't call them supporters. I don't call you guys subscribers. To me, each and every one of you is my family. I came here with very few family members, but now I'm living with a whole team. From Jamaica, what more could I ask for? What more could I wish for? As soon as we approached the international airport, my biggest fears were coming to reality. It was finally, finally time to say goodbye. Norman Mali International Airport. This is where I began and this is where it's ending. All I can say is thank you. Jamaica. Let's do this. Let's travel together. For I will still come back. Thank you. It's time to say goodbye. Yeah. Say goodbye. yeah. Fly. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just because I have to go and take care of the baby. Yeah, that is it. And yeah, Esther, that is it. So, D, yeah. thank you so much. Guys, thank you so much for the love, for the support. It's yeah. always that moment of saying goodbye. But I don't like it either. Same, same, same. I don't like it, but Sean will be back very yeah, soon. So. That's a promise. She said she's going to be back in Jamaica. You already so, know. Guys, goodbye. Thanks for the love and support. Please subscribe to Sean. Let's get yeah. to 200k subscribers. Yeah. 
keep watching the videos wagwan wagwan guys bye bye yes you always welcome and welcome back to jamaica again it's i know right <laughs> esther thank you mommy thank you so much yeah. you've been so amazing <laughs> thank you yeah, Kino, man. Hey. The tallest. Hey. Tall. I'm the tallest. The tallest, man. Let me go so I don't miss. Right. I know Kino is praying that I miss. Let me quickly check out. Kino, let me go. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm coming. Alright guys, so it's such a sad day for me and um, I have to go now saying this is all gate and for the first time in history I wasn't scared that I'm gonna miss the flight. You know why? Because um, I kept time. I really kept time this time around and I'm just happy man. I'm just happy that I'm finally, finally, I mean I am so happy that I have finally been able to take Jamaica on my on my passport and let me tell you what's what's weird guys my passport is almost full I'm gonna show you that in a bit hold on sorry for the shaking I only have I only have two I have only two pages left on my passport hold on I have only two pages left on my passport this and this the next page you'll see there's a stamp on it you see <laughs> I'm trying to hold this and show you guys at the same time. This one, there's a there's a stamp on it. Only two pages left. So it's gonna be Jamaica here to say I've 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 lived and Kenya. That means it's a good thing because what? Jamaica has marked my last piece in my passport. <laughs> so excited guys. Super duper excited. You see why it's good to ask for direction? Now I was seated there thinking that that's the, the correct thing to do, but I've been told no, the gate that I'm going is down. Elevator is available for your convenience and safety. No, I'm just gonna, I'll just use this here. It's supposed to go downstairs and see. So let's have a tour at Jamaican airport. You see what they've posted here, guys? It's really true. It's terribly true. This ones you go to Jamaica and this is what you experience nothing less than this Woo! good hotels good hotels good beaches clean beaches man Jamaica has the cleanest beach like the cleanest I have ever seen I'm thinking this is Usain Bolt <laughs> the cleanest I have ever seen departure time man. departure one of the saddest saddest moment you know but anyway at least i'll get a chance to see oh elevator i'll get a, this is going up or down man this airport is big <laughs> and complicated i don't know where to go let me check i'm getting lost like a baby is that a sign <laughs> a sign for what because they say departures and oh god where am i going get 10 to 11 oh it's 10 to 11 is this way so i'm supposed to go this way 10 to 11 but i went this way no 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 i'm supposed to go this way man it's one to to nine because i'm going to get six 
sorry guys <laughs> that's the jamaican effect <laughs> look at this oh this is so nice this is so cute and another thing i've realized with jamaica they paint a lot they paint different color one people look at that different color one people this one looks like a kenyan something i hope it's kenyan because it kind of resembles kenya with the elephant and all that oh are there elephants in jamaica this is dubai i want to be okay there's um there's the details of the of the paintings down here let me see what it says the country i dream of visiting yeah so i think this might be like maybe kenya or something because it's the country that he, she dreams of visiting wow this is dubai right here looking good amazing stuff uk that's the united kingdom i'm telling you jamaicans love their flags eh? the flag and the detail is is everywhere so wow <laughs> oh my goodness guys let everybody try and come to jamaica this is definitely the place to be the place to be nobody should lie to you nobody should tell you otherwise that's my flight british airways now i'm going to the united kingdom so i can meet my husband and then you know the thing can't wait to reunite with my baby <laughs> you know the thing i really miss my baby and my baby so get okay so i'm supposed to go to the other gate see and because jamaicans like really run a lot there's a track here for running i wish i could just set set my camera there and give you like one one race just go like one two three sean is on the race Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh god crazy crazy anyway let's go so all right i am actually pretty late not like late for my flight i didn't um when they called our first row i didn't go because I was editing and I was like, ah, I'm gonna try and take time and upload a video. So that's why I've waited until the very last. Because I was in the first row, but here I am. We are now in row seven. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit and wait until they call like the, the last row so that I can be able to edit. Anyway, finally, as you guys can have, as you guys can have, as you guys have had, they've just called group seven. That was in the first row. But here I am. I'll show you. Guys, this is actually a full flight. It's literally full to the brim. Is that correct English? Full to the brim? It's completely, completely, completely full. It was overbooked. That's what they say. They say they are totally sold out and overbooked. Whew. British Airways. See you UK and see you my husband. I can't wait. <laughs> came to Jamaica to explore and to and to see like you know most of the time if you, if you search Jamaica on the media you get like different different yes. information but my friend has been to Jamaica and she was always talking about Jamaica always praising it and I got so curious yes. so I decided to fly all the way from Africa and what do you, what do you, what do you think? Ah, I think it's a beautiful place I actually wanted to stay longer, I wanted to extend my flight, just that I got a little emergency back home, so I had to go back and be back at the thing. But it's, a, it's amazing. Actually, I, I went every, I went almost everywhere. I went to Kingston, not Kingston, yes, Kingston in Trench Town. I stayed there for for like five days, went to Ocho Rios. 
went to Poland, Portland. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna finish when I come back. Okay. Oh, you do music? Wow. Let me keep it. Written several books. Okay. Check it out. I find it rather interesting. You I'm, live in the UK? Yes, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm a Jamaican descent. Okay. I, I studied here and I worked here years ago and I lived in the US. So, okay. So you've been UK and US? Yes. In Jamaica? Yeah. Okay, you have kids? Mm hmm. Yeah, when do they live UK in Jamaica? They live in the UK, but they're American born. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How is the UK? How do you find it? That's rather interesting. This is a place that I live. I treat it as part of my home base. That's where both my yeah. wife and I and live and marry. You know, so. The weather? And the weather's good. It can be cold and it can so be hot. Just, they're just going to come and light in. I just look like they're best at all. It's not the most fun. 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 the usual England weather anyways because we are used to it and who I'm telling you guys that has been a very very smooth journey as someone who barely sleeps on flight that was really really good that was really good I slept like a baby man let me show you around so this is where we are that's the one we came with British Airlines, Airways, telling you guys it was a full flight, like completely full. Oh, oh, completely full. I just didn't believe it. Completely full. Welcome to London. Yeah. Yeah, you're a Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, what think, man? Oh, thank you in yeah. Jamaica. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. Man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, thing, yo. Thank you so much. I'm so in love with Jamaica. I just came back because I have a little emergency with my baby. Okay. Otherwise, I wanted to stay longer. But I'm still gonna come back because yeah, I haven't I haven't visited so many places. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm blessed up here. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Jamaicans pack their bags in that little stuff. I don't know if that's it because I've seen a lot of them written in Jamaica. Guys, when I meet people and they appreciate what I do, they don't know what it does, man. I feel so encouraged and so motivated. <laughs> Jamaicans are just so supporting. Ooh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I'm in London. I wish I was in Jamaica, but one thing I'm going to promise all Jamaicans, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back. Okay, let me just go fix this thing with my baby. I have really crazy sinuses, guys, at this point. <laughs> I think it's because I'm in London. Anytime I'm in London, oh, I get really mad sinuses. My husband is somewhere waiting for me on the other side. So I have to go meet him and then... I see what's the plan. <laughs> I've tried reaching out to my husband, but he, I can't get him because my of my internet. I don't have internet. That's one too. My UK SIM card, I left it with him. <laughs> the other time when I was coming to Jamaica, because I thought I was going to lose it. So not unless I get like um, 
but unless I get um, what's the name again? I get um, Wi-Fi. I'm not able to connect and talk to him. So we are at the immigration, and I have to switch off my camera here now. So I'm from the immigration, and something very interesting has happened. I just had people saying, Shona, Shona. I turn around, and it's a group of Jamaicans, men just showing love and telling me how much they love what I do. I don't even know if I can, I can stress this enough. Jamaicans have shown me so much love, man. So much love. Overwhelming. My cup is so full. Is it my you know cup? It's not mine. Hi. My cup is so, 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 so full. Man, it's, it's, it's pouring out. Because <laughs> of the love that Jamaicans have, have shown me, man. And for this, I promise I have to come back. I owe that to them, at least for the love because I have not visited everywhere. I've visited very, very few places, but now I know, right? So this is where we are. Um, bags collection center. I don't really know, okay, I think, no, that's not my bag. I don't know if today everybody was traveling or what, because even the airport itself is very congested and very, very full. Uh -oh. I'm gonna have to sit here and wait for my bag or should I go check let me go check because I felt like I've seen something that almost looks like my bag on this other side I don't know if it's mine or not and the internet is still not working let me check internet is still no the internet is still down so let me check I actually thought that that was my bag but turns out that that's not it so we're gonna go to the other side and just wait for it. I am so <laughs> exhausted, guys, but happy. Got in my bag. Got in my bag. So now. It's time to meet my husband. It's time to meet my husband. I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm my way to meet my husband. <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> the day that I don't even believe that I'm literally married with a child and I have a little family. Cause, you know, <laughs> It's not, it's not an, uh, an, something that I take for granted, okay? Yeah, I know my baby was, I prayed for baby, and I, I looked for baby. A baby that I was actively looking for, and praying and asking God that I want a baby. And now, I have a family of my own. Oh my God, that's cute. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like I'm a mommy, I'm a traveling YouTuber, I'm a wife. Oh God, it's not easy. Let me tell you guys um, something. I think I told this to my old subscribers. My OG subscribers already know this, but I know we have new people, so I'm gonna repeat it. When I had my baby, I used to have like a couple of friends. Huh? So now, these friends just went like, you know what, now um, it's gonna be really hard for you to travel. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to do, all right? I saw like some custom police and I got a little scared because he... <sighs> so welcome. Okay, let me just turn my camera around in case in case my husband wants to come here and give me a hug. Okay, just to say, yeah, baby. <laughs> Right, so we have a duty free here. I'm still gonna tell you guys the story, but outside, we have a duty free right there, and then the exit. So let's go, Gregs. Uh, it should be somewhere here. Is the exit change money? Where is he? Oh my god. 
And also I can't be able to call him. Guys, I don't know if I should sit and wait somebody ask somebody to give me Wi-Fi. Because I'm trying to reach my husband, but it's not possible. Anyway, let me tell you guys the story before I forget so I can look for my husband. So back then after I had a baby, I've always been somebody who likes to travel, right? So after I had my baby, I had like friends and they just one of these ladies looked me in the eye and said, now it's over for you, man. We can't even go with you to brunch. As in, she said, we can't go with you to brunch. You know brunch where you, you hook up with your girls and go and have some lunch, some late lunch, or maybe a cup of coffee. She was like, you're not going to be able to do any of that. Because God forbid we go with you somewhere and your baby starts crying. Eesh. Your baby starts crying. It's going to be so embarrassing. As in, this lady is literally just cut me off because I had a baby. Anyway, God is good. Let me tell you guys my testimony. Ever since I've, I have, I've had a baby, I have traveled six different countries with my baby. Actually, this was my very first time traveling without my baby. And I felt so bad. I felt every day. I was like, no, no. And I'm like, I've traveled, wait, because I went to, I took my baby to South Africa before my baby turned one year old. We were in South Africa. We've gone to Nigeria. We, we, we relocated to the UK. We've gone to Ethiopia. I went to, to Dubai. And um, yeah, we've gone, and this is the six. I've traveled six different countries ever since I had my baby. And do you know what those ladies have been doing? Nothing. They have never crossed the border. Never! Cross the border, and that's what I'm telling you guys. Never ever let anybody put you down. As long as you have the will to do it, you keep doing it. I felt so bad, guys. I remember really crying to my husband and telling him that my husband, my life has been ruined. Like right now, I have, I can't do anything. My friends are gonna be having fun with me. And he said, you know what, baby? When you have a little baby, it's a plus for you because now you're you're not in the small leagues anymore. You are a mommy. <laughs> Back then, I wasn't even thinking it's possible for me to travel. Oh my God. But I remember I prayed and told God, God, you know what? I will not be the person who sits down and says, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, I, I would have been living a good life. I said I'll never put that on my baby. I wouldn't trust my baby. Like every day I wake up and tell my baby, I sacrificed a lot for you because of you. I can't live my dream. No. No, 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 no. Because I always tell myself, my baby never asked to be born. I asked God to give me a baby. So it's my, 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 it's my work to make sure that I live my life with my baby and it's my work to make sure that I work so hard and to ensure that my baby has a good life. I don't know if that's making sense. And this man of mine, surely. Where do I get him now? Anyway guys, let me know in the comment section if you have a baby. Do you let your baby stop you or do you still do normal things? And guys, if you ever see a mommy who is still trying to live their life and still trying to travel when they have a baby, please clap for them. It's not the easiest work to do. It's not the easiest. I'm going to try calling my husband again. I hope this time around the network is working. Not yet. You see, guys, what I was telling you about Jamaican internet in the airport, because the, the video you people watched yesterday, I downloaded it using the... I posted it using the Jamaican... Um, Wi-Fi at the airport. Hold on, I'm trying to show you guys the the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is is actually full, 100%, but it's not sending any message, so it's crazy. I can't even know where my husband is, which corner is he. But I know the hotel that I was last time. It's just a minute, like five minutes, two minutes from here. So I'll just go and check because I had booked that again. You know, I have like just a stopover, like. Ah, today I have like an extra, an extra, how many hours do I have? Because I'm going back to Nairobi. I just want to see my baby as well. I have a little, little, little emergency. I'm going to tell you guys why I had to cut my trip short. I have to go and see my baby. So let's go. Let me show you. I had shown you guys this before. This is the north, the north terminal. We are going to the shuttles, as my husband says it. Yeah, I used to say train, so... Okay. So let's go. Man. I'm not even excited to be in London. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not so 
happy to be in London because of the weather as well. Oh God, and I'm so sad that I didn't, I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to to experience the the river that glows. That's something I'm gonna try and do next time. Next time round, it's gonna be fire. Okay. Nice. Coming to Jamaica, it's gonna be fire. It's gonna Please be fire. Off the doors. Cause now already I know what it takes, how much I need, and I'm gonna come and buy. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, the world has to know about Jamaica. It's a promise. The world has to know about it. My baby has to know about it. My every person huh, has to know about how great it is. So we are at our shuttle. Remember the other day I was arguing with my husband, talking about it's a shuttle or no. So we are at the shuttle right here. I've just decided I'll go to the hotel because I already have the details and ask. Right, right there I can get Wi-Fi. So in case he's still at the airport. Wow, that is so cute. Look, man. That's a couple. So they have pictures of their faces on the, on the suitcase. Like a picture, let's say like you no know, me and my husband take a picture together and then we put it on our suitcase. Yeah. And then <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. Let me ask them if I can show you guys and take a video. Hi. <laughs> Excuse me, this is so cute. Can I take a, a video of it? Sorry? I'm saying this is so cute. Can I take a video of it? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's so cute. Do you know what we're going to do? Yeah. We put a bums on the back. No. <laughs> but we, we couldn't, we couldn't do it. You did that? No, we did not. He wanted <laughs> to do that. I wanted to put a bums on the back. No, no, no. <laughs> No, but you can't. You are so yeah. crazy. You guys are looking good together. How long have you been together? Wow. 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 Somebody will have thought that you guys just met because you are so in love and you're looking so cute. Oh, she's horrible. Man. She's What's evil. the secret she's of still? Pure, she's pure evil. <laughs> older women, old, older women. That's what it is. <laughs> That's the secret? She's next above me. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, then you've taken care of yourself. You look really young. No, no, she yeah. does. Yeah, yeah no. she looks really young. No, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> where, where are you up to? I'm going to Kenya. I'm from Jamaica. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I went to visit. It's amazing. Have you been to Jamaica? I've never been. You need to go. I've been to Tobago. Yeah. Um, I've been to Tobago. You've been in um, Cuba. I've been to Dominican Republic in Cuba. Not yeah, yeah, I've never been. Oh I've never my been to Tobago, God. Yeah. I went to Jamaica. Yeah. Oh, I can't stop talking about it. I want to no. tell everybody uh, one day to I'll go to Jamaica. Been, you get more of a thing as well, actually. The other, well, we watched the Bob Marley one love film. Do you know I went like there. That? I went to, to, we to the Bob Marley's house and all that. Oh, yes, the house is still there. Yes, yes. The house is still there, the car is still there, everything that Bob Marley had, it's amazing! We're doing the Indian Ocean this time, we're going to Mauritius. Next time they Yeah, we're going to Mauritius now, but maybe next time we do Jamaica. No, don't say maybe, go to Jamaica! And the food, they have like like different fruits, fruits that I've never eaten before. Yeah, I was just seeing things for the first time and they are so friendly people. Oh my god, they are so friendly, they are so loving. You need to go, really. Yeah, well, no, I want to go all over the place, you know It has to be in your, in your top bucket list. Oh, it's a touristic place. I went to another place called Ochorio. I'm going to show you the video. It's like they have like this huge waterfall. And you have to climb. It's almost like a mountain. Oh my god, Jamaica is so... Yeah, I was so excited. I know. Jamaica is so beautiful. I can't help it. Oh my god. The last culture. You know what? Like, like we... Um, you can buy stuff and things, yeah. but not spending going around the world. That's the thing, money's gonna come back, but 
what the experience oh my god you've been where well. you've been where well? you've been where the second is well as it's well as the play oh it's a beautiful island yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, no, I, like <laughs> but I, hope, I hope I hope you guys go. they have this this glowing like water body like a river that glows in the night. What? I think they see them like um the what in the water. Yes, water that glows in the night. Like is this place I'll, even I'll, I'll real? I'll, I'll, I'll go there. Me too. I, I'll, I have I'll to go, go back and experience really. the things I didn't experience. I'll tell you so what, you guys are traveling now? You're going yeah, we, else? We go and we've got a little lounge thing, so we're going to go up there okay. and like, we're going to check in and then... Me, I'm going to Kenya okay. right now. I love traveling. Oh. One, from one My friend is in Zambia. Okay, <laughs> Zambia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank Keep you. Away. Take care, darling. You too, you too. Bye-bye. Oh my God. Let me show you their cute little suitcase. So nice. So nice. I'm tempted to do that to my husband just to just to show him <laughs> so that everywhere we go so everybody knows that these two are married <laughs> oh my Jesus Whew. amazing stuff let me go guys because the hotel is just the other way like you okay welcome to north not what not terminal Gatwick. there's an elevator at this other side but I don't know if I want to use it or should I just use the stairs? Okay, there's an elevator right here. The hotel that I'm sleeping in is just right across the road. I told, I showed you guys the other day. It's the same, same one. But I'm going out just across the road. Oh my God, I love meeting people and telling them about the goodness in Jamaica. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I'm so sad that I didn't experience the glowing, the glowing water because everybody says, Hey, there's this water that glows in the night. Oh, I'm so sad. But you know what? It's a coma for me. It's not like a full stop. It's a coma for me because I'll be back to Jamaica. <laughs> I'm going to be back real soon. Real soon, man. Real, real soon. If I catch that my husband, he has made me just walk all by myself. <laughs> yeah, now see. Okay, so... This is where we are going, Premier Inn. <sighs> is it even walking? <sighs> my my throat. Is this even working? <sighs> so here we are, back at it again. This is the hotel that we are sleeping in. Back at it, because I just have a couple of hours. Then I go to see my baby. Oh my god, I've actually missed my home as well. I've really, really missed my home, but I've missed my baby even more. Like, it's crazy that my husband has not called me Yao. <sighs> oh, it's so windy. Oh, how do you know you're in London? So windy, the weather is so unpredictable. Oh, oh, oh. oh god, I have, I'm having like a stuffed nose. It's super windy. Oh. We made it to Pride Inn. Pride Inn? Okay, Premier Inn. In Kenya, we have a hotel called Pride Inn. It's one of my favorite. So I think that's what makes me say this is. Friday, so here we go. Huh. Now, as soon as I get Wi-Fi, I'm gonna have to contact my my husband so I can know what's the plan. I'm gonna get back to you guys in a few. Oh, we made it. We made it safe. A reminder: anybody who is watching this video and has never been to Jamaica. Save, save some little, some little money and go to Jamaica, it's worth it. So I've arrived at the hotel guys, I've taken a quick shower, I was too exhausted to even think. So this is where we are sleeping, 
see the airport is right there see you can see like this sorry let me show you I don't know if you guys can see now the iPad see is the flight is literally there so when I'm ready when it's time for boarding all I have to do is just go no when it when it's time to finally go back all I have to do is to just cross the street and get to the airport I think I've shown you this place before okay nice I've shown you this hotel room before it's literally just a room this is not the same room i booked last time this should have been a double room but because it's just me and my husband it's gonna be just us here so yeah this is it i'm just from taking a shower that's why everything is moist moisty or moist. so yeah this is gonna be home for tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna embark on my journey guys i want to tell you people something oh so guys let me finish dressing up then I catch up with you one of the hardest thing for me has always been saying goodbye and coming to terms that something is finally coming to an end and goodbye reminds me of my mom because one day she just said goodbye and she left and that was it I never wanted to come to terms with the fact that I was leaving Jamaica I hope that I will stay longer and experience different places. And even the very last moment, I still kept on thinking to myself that I'm gonna come back. Maybe it's a dream, maybe I'm not going. But here I am, realizing that I'm not in Jamaica anymore. Let it be known that Jamaica is a very beautiful country. It's one of the most beautiful countries I have ever seen. I'm talking about the nature, the people, the culture, the food, the unity, the togetherness. I could go on and on and on about Jamaica. And even as a creator, I have never gotten love like this. Jamaica showed me what loving somebody unconditionally and supporting them really meant. And even when people would come and speak negatively about me, I was not worried because my Jamaican people were there to actively fight and defend me. That is not something you come across every single day. Uh, I've postponed doing this video all the time because I knew I was going to end up crying. I just want to say I'm so grateful <laughs> to everyone in Jamaica. Everybody who supported me. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to say that I am forever grateful to all the Jamaicans. You guys have shown me so much love. I'm so embarrassed. You guys have shown me so much love. I can't take that for granted. I would work tirelessly hard every single day. And all of that have both fruit. Words are not enough, guys. I cannot express how much I'm humbled. Special shout out to Dee Mwango, Kino, and Esther for coming through for me holding my hand and showing me how the thing goes but most importantly special shout out to all the Jamaicans because I left my home in one piece and I'm going back in one piece nothing happened to me I was truly home away from home <sighs> it's my great prayer that I'm gonna come back I believe I will because I haven't experienced so much I believe I'm gonna come back I know that I'm gonna come back in Jamaica God bless Jamaica
the love is on another level the vibe is on another level and even when i heard we were going to kingston i was so scared at first because it's normal to go on youtube it's normal to go on google and search what's kingdom what's kingston what what goes on in kingston i remember making a prayer that night and saying god tomorrow is the day i'm going to kingston i've never been there i don't know what might happen but what i have read is crazy god please protect me please protect me when i got to kingston my first question was when are we going to kingston and they looked at me and said we are in kingston what i'm trying to say is kingston was not what I envisioned it was not what the media portrayed it was not what I read on the books sorry it was not what I read on the media the people welcomed me and every time they would see me the only thing they would say was Empress Arwa Empress Arwa they taught me patwa they shared with me their fruits i remember one one guy would climb the tree for us and just get us fruits and all that everywhere we would go in kingston we were one we were one and for that i am so so humbled i pray that god is going to bless everybody in kingston and that one day one time their lives will change their stories will change All in all, thank you so much Jamaica. May God bless you. Peace, peace and one love. Let's go. Trench down rock. We want to so. Trench down rock. Hey, you know. Trench down rock. Trench down city story. Hey, I am hey, got to be there. Hey, Jam rock city story. Hey, I am got to be there. Hey, Jam rock city story. I am got to be there. Jam rock city story. I am got to be there.